I'm going to be sharing the products that I use and the methods that I use today for this wash day from start to finish. Carry on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11 and as I said in the intro, today I'm going to be showing you how I managed to get my hair back to such a lovely state. Seriously guys, this is not what I've got it back to. It is dry as a haystack right now, but I have managed to nurse my hair back to health. Let me just quickly give you a backstory. So for the last four or five months, I was wearing my hair in a protective style. I didn't moisturize it. I didn't deep condition it. Yes, I know, I'm bad. But I've uh, but I'm facing the consequences, damaged hair. Yes, my hair was damaged through not keeping it moisturized and keeping it in a protective style for so long, for weeks on end. So for the last two months or so, I've been on a moisture journey and I've managed to get my hair a lot thicker. I've managed to, it's grown, it's been grown anyway keep my hair moisturized and I do a weekly routine which I'm showing you today so well just showing you my wash day so from start to finish so my hair doesn't usually look like this because I don't usually take it out of the plaits that I'm going to put it in until the next wash day however I decided to put my hair in a bun and this is what happened this matted look going on I'm going to be using all the products all the products all the moisturizing products guys that I could find and not that I could find that I currently use these ones are pretty much my empties though guys my empties they're nearly finished so I'm just gonna use them up because they're stuff that I use anyway for my cleanser my clarifying shampoo I'm going to be using Vatika which is the black seed oil shampoo and then I'm going to follow it up with the Vatika black seed oil deep conditioner not only am I going to be using this one guys but I feel my hair needs a little bit more protein so I'm going to be using the Fatika egg protein mask as well. I'm going to mix them together. Yes, I am. My hair needs protein and moisture. Quite dry at the moment. I don't want my hair snapping after all the hard work that I've done. So I'm going to leave that on for about an hour. And then once I've done that, I will be styling my hair and I will be plaiting it up. Hair grease. I'm going to show you how I do that at the end. So guys, just carry on watching. So I have been currently co-washing, but I am going to, as I said, shampoo my hair today just because I do have hair grease in my hair. And not to say that co-wash doesn't get rid of good hair grease, because it did actually, I was quite surprised about that. But I just want to make sure I'm, I'm starting on a clean, fresh face. So let me go on to explain to you. I have low porosity hair and I can't assume that everybody knows what low porosity hair is. So I'm going to give you a brief explanation. Picture you have a strand of hair and on that strand, if you looked under a microscope, they would have little shafts that lay on top of each other. Like so. Like scales, I guess, lying on top of each other. Now with low porosity hair, it holds moisture pretty well, but it doesn't let anything escape and it takes a long time to let moisture seep into your hair. Now the way to raise those scales to allow the moisture to seep in is to use heat. So I have a quite warm water, I wouldn't say hot guys because you don't want to damage your hair, but warm water and also if you're going to deep condition for low porosity hair, do deep condition with heat, i.e. a heat cap or sit under a dryer. Just to make sure that all the product and moisture and water what have you is getting into the strands my hair i used quite warm water so not lukewarm it was quite i wouldn't say hot it was virgin on hot <laughs> but just to make sure that the water seeped into my hair so it didn't take as long to drench my hair this time um as you see my hair still got some puff to it so now i've given you that brief description i'm going to shampoo my hair so now i'm going to use my shampoo i actually had to fill it with a bit of water just because it was running out. And I like to do my hair in sections. Again, that is because my hair is low porosity. So I'm trying to make sure that all parts of my strands are being touched by the products and the water. For me, separating my hair and doing it in sections is essential to retain moisture because at times there are some parts that I have missed in the past just by not separating my hair, so I like to do that. The main thing is making sure that my scalp is clean so my hair follicles have a nice, healthy, clean base. So when I rinse the water off my hair, the shampoo will run down the strands. And I'm doing this because as moisturizing as shampoo claims to be, it is stripping. Well, for my hair person, that's my experience. It does strip my hair, obviously, of natural oils because it's trying to get rid of everything. 
So rather than putting it down my strands, because obviously curly hair it takes longer for the hair sebum, i.e. the hair oil, to travel down the strands and keep the hair moisturized, I'd rather not completely remove it all. I'd rather just get rid of the buildup on my scalp and leave the sebum just a little bit. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do and I'll let the shampoo finish washing the rest of my hair when I wash it out so it will run down the lengths of my hair. And that guys helps with the moisture retention which then in turn helps with length retention because there's less breakage and more noticeable growth. Our hair is always growing unless you have a condition but the reason I'm pulling the hair down like this is because as I'm massaging my scalp the hair is starting to bunch up and I don't want to create more tangles than necessary. Now guys I would say for you depending on how you like to cleanse your hair obviously you can do what you like <laughs> you can go in and re-shampoo your hair again I used to re-shampoo my hair more than once but I found that doing that really dried up my hair and again even if it was a moisturizing shampoo so I found that shampooing my hair once and deep conditioning seemed to re remove the rest of the product build up. Okay, so my hair is fully shampooed. I'm going to go rinse this out and come back to you when I'm just about to apply the deep conditioner. Okay, so now my hair is shampooed. It does feel quite dry. And that was just a little amount of shampoo that I put on my hair. First, I'm going to apply the egg protein just so it gets into my strands. And then I'm going to top it up with the moisturizer one. So I'm going to deep tangle. Deep tangle? Detangle, <laughs> deep tangle. There you go, made up a new concept. I'm gonna detangle with my deep conditioner. And again, I'm doing it in sections. And again, guys, you can see my hair is separating nicely. So this is perfect. Deep, do you know what? I'm just gonna call it deep tangling. This is perfect for deep tangling, okay? When you are detangling, guys, I just want to say, go ahead, say like it's snagging here. If you get a snag in here, I don't want you to just drag your finger down or the comb. I want you to separate it, ease it apart, and you can also pull at the ends so it separates nicely because that's what helps retain length, guys. Detangling is an important step and what I love about this deep conditioner guys, it's very thick, very creamy and it also feels like, to me, it has a chunk of hair grease in it. <laughs> Sounds weird, obviously deep conditioning your hair with hair grease. It doesn't feel like hair grease, it's just, it's just so thick guys that it's just got a nice thick coating to it that's very, very moisturising. So I'm going to continue with the black seed, black seed one and it has the same, similar amount. These guys, by the way, they smell gorgeous. I would definitely definitely recommend them and if you do want me to do a review on them I can do that no problem individually because they are oh they're gorgeous these I must say hands down are one of the best deep conditioners that I have ever tried and they also do a leave conditioner okay so I like this I'm going along just finishing all these products and throwing them away so I'm gonna go and put the heat cap on my head and I will be back to you in an hour's time well I'll be back to you next, but I'll be putting the heat cap on my head for an hour just to let the deep conditioner do its thing. Okay guys, so it's been just over an hour and I've got the deep conditioner in my hair. As you can see, my hair is soaking up the moisture. I've got some waves, I've got some curls. So now it's time to rinse it out and I'm gonna show you how I do my styling. So I'll be back once this is fully rinsed out and it is time to style and seal. Okay, so I'm back. It's fully washed out of my hair. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm just gonna moisturize my hair. So I'm gonna leave in the leave-in conditioner, spritz it with my as I um, moisture cast on my spray. So I'm gonna spray it with that first. Put leave-in conditioner, put the sealant. Done. Done for the week. I will spritz it midweek. That's what's caused my hair to thicken, grow, stay moisturized, all the good stuff. Right guys, so I'm just gonna get on with that now. So no talking for you in this part, guys. I'm just gonna be styling my hair.
guys, one thing I would say, I do my cats outwards because it keeps the hair taut at the roots and it also, so it stops my roots from being puffy, but it also, I find that plaiting my hair outwards in contrast to plaiting it inwards, it gives my hair more stretch. It will still have shrinkage, but there'll be less shrinkage and it will elongate my plaits. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the camera. Uh, this is pretty much it. And this is how my hair stays for the week. Now what I do in the week is that I will put my hair in a head scarf so I don't manipulate my plaits, I leave them hanging, I put my head scarf on and I just have it hanging down with my plaits inside. And what I do then in the mornings, I will spritz my hair every morning until next wash day with this and it just keeps my hair moisturised throughout the whole week. And that's why I don't want my parting so straight and perfect guys because once I spritz my hair, my hair will start to uh, frizz up, it will start to get a bit of to it but it will start to frizz up a little and i like the messy look i will be back to you in a minute <laughs> so guys my hair is finally complete i've got my juicy plaits <laughs> show you the back like i said i'm not too fussed with the partings just because i don't want it to look too perfect and I'm not actually gonna be wearing my hair down like this. It is wet at the moment, so I'm gonna wait for it to air dry just a little bit. But what I usually do when I have my hair like this, put my hair up in a bun and I'll just leave it like that for the week. Anyway guys, well, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.